Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Today, I'm excited. We're going to try this Penelope. Uh, this is a barrel strength coming in at 115 proof. Yeah, 115 proof private select. Um, this is a four grain bourbon. So, you know, in order to be a bourbon, you got to be at least 51% corn. This one's coming in at 70% corn. Uh, it's got 21% wheat, 5% malted barley, and 4% rye. And so this is going to be, you know, this will be a, a heavy corn mash, but also heavy on the wheat with just some sprinkles of the malted barley and the rye. So looking forward to this. You know, Penelope was recently purchased um, by MGP. So... Their juice in the forward, I'm sure, will be a little bit different, um, but excited to see where that brings them. Uh, still been hunting the Penelope Rio. Uh, I like Amburana casks a lot, so I've been hunting that one, so eventually maybe one day I'll get to that. Um, upcoming weekend this weekend, definitely looking forward to the Alabama Bourbon Drop. I did not place in the lottery, but I know some people that did place in the lottery. Very excited for them. Hopefully, they'll get some really nice bottles. They've got some really nice selections coming out this time. They'll have some Jack Daniels 12. Uh, they'll have some Stag Juniors. They'll have some of the Gold Blantons. Um, so there's some very nice, neat bottles that they will be available at MSRP, especially if you're early. Um, in, in the, one of the lottery numbers, uh, I plan to be out there, hopefully get to see, um, some of you out there as well. I've had some people ask if I'll be out there. I've told them my plan is to be out there just to see, because I, I think it's important, especially when there's good bottles, that's something that I maybe don't have or been hunting to see what it's like, depending on where I'm placing in the line as part of the year long review. So that'll be really cool. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, also looking forward to getting the four samples out. Need to check my emails again tonight, but I hadn't seen anything from William Hall yet. So, William, reach out to me. We need to get you these samples. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, author, also, for those that watch some of the videos closely, uh, there's another opportunity out there. I've seen some people have already picked that up. Uh, keep up the great work there. Um, but I think that'll be an interesting opportunity in the future. Still waiting on one person to get me back results on the 12 samples. Uh, this person, they've been working way, way too hard. So I'm not not disappointed in this person at all. They, they're working multiple jobs um, and doing things. They said, hey, I'll try to get it to you last night. Didn't happen, but that's okay. You know, most important thing is that they're taking care of themselves, taking care of their work and their family. You know, bourbon, bourbon comes afterwards. So that'll be fun. But Penelope, Private Select, four grain, 115 proof. Let's see what we got. Get heavy caramel and vanilla right on the nose on this. Um, this smells like a nice sweet bourbon, something I would like right off the bat. I'm getting a little bit of caramel apple. So I'm getting some caramel apple in here, which is nice. Not super heavy on the oak. Very kind of light on the oak, which is nice too. Got a good little whiff of the ethanol there, but that was probably because I had my nose in too deep on it. But it's, it seems fairly viscous. Gets a lot of oils coming down the side on it. Definitely liking the way that uh, this nose is. Let's see what we get for a taste. I'm really, really liking um, this Penelope. Getting the caramel up front, 115 proof. Very nice mouthfeel on this. Getting a tiny bit of the rice spice on the back, but not a whole lot. A little bit of pepper on the back. Getting light oak, not super heavy oak on the back of this. Almost getting almost kind of a, a root beer note on this as well. So that's very interesting as you kind of get that caramel, a tiny bit of a green apple, 
but also get kind of a root beer note and pepper note on the back of this. I'm really digging this Penelope right now. I don't say this is about a medium finish. It does kind of bloom towards the end on the back of the palette. So you get this great sweet sip up front. Uh, and then it kind of blooms, getting a little bit of the tobacco on the back now. So it blooms into some of your peppers, getting a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of the oak on the back. <clears throat> but not overpowering at all, but very smooth on the tongue and in the mouth. Um, questions out there, what are your favorite Penelope products and, and, and why? What do, what do you like about certain Penelope products? I'm trying to get more and more into Penelope. Um, I'm liking a lot of the stuff that I've tasted from them. Um, so I'm trying to get some guidance. I know Rio is going to be kind of hard to find, but some guidance on some other ones that would be really good to try out on the channel. I've really liked their toasted, really digging this four grain uh, bourbon. Uh, I think it's got a very nice profile and it's actually maybe a medium to a long finish. I'm still getting a bit of a finish on this. Really liking the sweetness on this and I'm getting a little bit of a a bready type of a taste on it now too. Kind of a yeasty bready type of taste. Kind of the mid palate. So it's it's offering a lot of different things on, on this, so which is really neat. I like the, the opportunity where you get to taste something and you explore it and you get a little bit something different every time. That's what I'm kind of getting out of this right now. Um, getting a little bit of the yeasty breadiness towards the mid palate. Um, really liking the caramel. Still very sweet up front, which I really, really like. Hint of green apple on it for me. Uh, tobacco in the back, getting a little bit of the oak in the back, getting a little bit of a pepper and rye. Uh, not so present now, but the first couple of sips, you can kind of feel it blooming through there. So I thought it was outstanding. And just a subtle, almost kind of a root beer note that I'm getting through there too. So all in all, I really like the Penelope. Um, I've, I've liked some of their other products. This one for me is really kind of hitting in the wheelhouse of things that I like. It may not be your wheelhouse, but it's kind of hitting in the wheelhouse of things I like. Good proof point, good mouthfeel, nice finish, uh, complexity of different flavors at different areas of the palate, uh, and how it blooms a little bit later too. I, I think it's a very interesting drink. Uh, and that's the thing that I'm starting to get more and more into bourbons is I like to find things that are interesting. Things that, you know, that offer some of the things you would expect from a bourbon and then maybe surprise you with a few other things. So I kind of like the way that this one um, kind of went through and hit the palate in different areas. Definitely enjoyed that. So looking forward to, I can't believe we're, we're at 660 subscribers. Thank you very much. I, I'm flattered and honored. You guys are the absolute best part of this channel. Um, you, your comments, and if you notice, I try to comment to back on all the comments. Sometimes it may take a little time, but I do try to get back to them because if you've invested that time, I'd like to try to invest that time back to acknowledge that. And, and thank you. And thank you for being part of that. I want this to be interactive. And I've started to notice too, that some of the commenters are interacting with uh, other people, which I absolutely love. It's, it's a community. This isn't, this isn't a Sean channel. This isn't uh, just for me. This is for everyone. So they have that opportunity to, to meet and talk with other people that enjoy bourbon or just enjoy banter back and forth. Um, and I absolutely love the fact that you guys are talking with some other people that are a part of this channel and, and, and in, in a very nice, respectful, kind way. And that's the one thing I absolutely appreciate about all of you. I don't have people that are just mean or pissed at the world. Occasionally you'll get someone you're like, well, I wonder where that comment came from. But I always try to look at it as how would my grandfather or grandmother say it to me? And it usually makes me think about it a different way when I read a comment. Maybe it's just a genuine question. So I want to give a genuine answer back. Um, but thank you again. I, all, I hope you all have an amazing day. Until next time.